Yes, thank you for coming to the Brandywine Zoo. My name is Shelby. I'm a keeper apprentice here. Behind me is Sharon. Sharon is one of our lead keepers. Sharon is also one of our trainers. So, this animal right here, this is an African serval. Her name is Savannah. So Sharon is going to do a quick training session with her so you guys can kind of see what that looks like, the things that she's going to do. I am here so that Sharon can focus solely on Savannah and you guys can ask me any of your questions and I can interpret for her. So Sharon is going to do her thing. Um, you guys, again, hold your questions. I will answer them. So what Sharon is doing, all of our animals here at the zoo are on a training program. We do these behaviors to make it easier to shift our animals. The animals live a stress-free life um, whenever they need medical care. So you'll notice right away that Sharon is getting Savannah in her squeeze cage. She's getting in her squeeze cage right now. Um, if we ever need to do a procedure, if we need to give her a vaccine, she is trained to accept hand injections. So she'll go into that squeeze. We can give her her injection right away. Um, stress-free, she gets a treat. Um, and then it's easy on her. So right now Sharon is feeding her feline. Feline is a part of her diet. It is a mix, it kind of looks like ground beef. Um, it is made specifically for big cats in captivity. She also gets chicken, beef, she'll get whole prey items, items with bones to keep her teeth clean. She really loves chicks and mice. She really loves fish. So if you guys can hear that, I'm trying to be quiet. So if you can hear that whistle, a whistle is called a bridge. The bridge is basically her way of saying, good job, you're doing what I'm asking you to do. So essentially, if you ask your dog to sit and your dog sits, you'll say, good. The bridge is her way of saying good. Um, Savannah has different trainers. Mommy. So Sharon's good might not sound like somebody mommy. else's good. Mommy, 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 mommy. Does anybody have any questions? So Savannah, we believe she's about 15. Savannah was born, we don't know where she was born. She was somebody's pet. You think she'd be a good pet? No, she wouldn't be a good pet. So she actually got out. Um, we found her out running around on the streets of Delaware. So we don't know exactly how old she is, but she was full grown when we got her. So we believe that she's about 15. That was a good question. So you were saying that she's training her. Why is she making her grow up? So she's making her, that is a good question as well, she's making her go to different places in her exhibit so we can see how she's moving. Um, if, our vet staff, if our vet staff has a problem or they need to see what's going on with her, we can ask her to move. Um, we can see if she's limping, we can see if she's not acting normally. How routinely do the vets come in? Um, so our vet comes in once a week. We have different animals that are on different days. Savannah does a yearly physical. She actually just had her physical. Um, so when they do their physical, they do go back into the hospital. Um, we put them under anesthesia. We do blood draws, all of the things that we need to do, keep it stress-free for the animals. So she doesn't know, like I was saying earlier, she gets those hand injections. She doesn't know if she's just receiving a routine vaccine or if she's gonna receive an anesthetic and she wakes up in her squeeze and no stress. Any other questions? No. Thank you guys for coming to the zoo, especially on this day. Enjoy the zoo, um, and have a great have a great day. Thank you. Yeah.